What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So in what I would think is a surprise, today Apple just dropped the first developer build for iOS 16.3 Beta 1. This is just a day after Apple officially released iOS 16.2 to the general public. So having said that, and having said that this is a brand new DOP release, I'm not sure what's new. We're waiting on a couple of new features such as uh, hardware security keys, new uh, updates to Apple Card, Apple Savings Accounts that's gonna be coming out, Apple Pay Later, all of this stuff is still coming soon. But I'm not sure what's new in here yet. We're gonna have to jump in and do a deep dive as we just got 16.1 beta out, or in full, I guess, release, I should say. This is probably not gonna be coming out for a couple months, possibly February, maybe even March. I think that might be pushing it, but we're at least looking at two months before this build hits public release. Obviously, there will be a public beta available as well, but currently, this is simply beta one for developers. We're downloading it. It's a 5.3 gigabyte size upgrade again. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so 16.3 just finished installing, and right from Jump Street, I can tell you everything has been actually pretty seamless so far. Obviously, it's a very small sample size, but animations have stayed very well, consistently smooth, and all of that. Now, having said that, we haven't found too much new yet, but let's jump right into this. And first things first, as we always do, let's take a look at this build number. And for iOS 16.3 Beta 1, you can see the build is 20D5024E. And if you actually jump into here to see what's new, um, as you can see, we're just on that page, there actually is no new release notes for this beta. So this leads us to believe a couple of things. Either there's no new unannounced features yet, or this just hasn't been updated. But it's not the first time we've seen no new release notes in an Apple bill. Having said that, one thing we did notice that was just discussed by Apple recently is the ability to use physical security keys like we talked about, and that is actually now live. So if you go into your Apple ID and then go into passwords and security, you now have the option to add security keys right here. So if you do that, you'll be prompted with this new updated screen, and now you can use physical security keys to replace verification codes. I actually have one that I use from Google. However, if you go to add it, it will not allow you to for one month from when you get 16.3, or at least currently that's what's going on. Because as you can see here, it does say can't add security keys until January 14th, today being December 14th. Uh, I'm assuming that's just because the beta just got released on here today, and it's going to be a month or so delay, but just wanted to let you guys know. Now, beyond that, that is one of the main new features that we've seen. If you actually hop into Wallet, and let me go and open this up, there is no new ability to add in Apple Card savings accounts. There's no ability to add in Apple Pay later that's going to be coming. None of that is applicable just yet. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Still going to be a little bit delayed, but just wanted to let you know that is not currently open in the beta. Now, there is a new splash screen if you guys use HomePods to let you know how the transition does work from iPhone to HomePod handoff. This is nothing new at all. This has been around since 2021 as a feature, but for some reason, Apple decided that now is a good time to add in this splash screen there. Um, here's what I'm assuming, guys. We're still waiting on Apple Music Classic, still waiting on Apple Pay later. We're still waiting on that Apple Card savings account um, and a ton of other features, to be quite honest with you, that have been announced. But if you guys remember last year in iOS 15.3, this is exactly the same. We got a lot of bug fixes in this release, not so many new features, but then a couple of months later at the beginning of the next year, or I should say this year, in 15.4, that's where all those new features came from, and that is what I'm assuming we're gonna get here as well. So I'm not gonna drag this out. Be on the lookout for a couple betas in the coming weeks. We might get one more before the end of 2022. If not, I'm assuming 16.3 will be released probably mid to end of February, and we'll probably get 16.4 in March, April timeframe. That'll probably be the last couple of builds or major builds before WWDC. But yeah, pure speculation on our part right now. That's all we have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
make sure to thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.